Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game devlog on the Blue Dots Expedition, a turn-based strategy flight game. This is going to be a double update, one on the game and one covering what's been going on offline, leading to what will be happening with the channel. Let's get to the game-centric update first. What is a reliable way to add fun, or at least engagement? Risk is usually a good way. The sequence of events being initiating the fight, destroy the asteroid, done. To get the risk factor in, I decided to make the asteroid fall apart depending on its health. Player needs to get closer to shoot at the asteroid, but as it shoots at the asteroid, segments break off. So the closer the player gets, the more at risk they are. But at the same time, they still need to get close to get a good shot. Risk versus reward factor. Though I still need to add some conditions that says that the player loses when they get too far or get too close. One bit at a time. As for the asteroid itself, I built it to compensate for varying levels of difficulty for what I have planned. Making it varied enough to only split two segments, three segments and in this case five segments, depending on health margins, also varying sizes of segments, and the fragmented segments themselves were built in Blender with the quick fragment add-on. The biggest problem, at least for me right now, is the lighting. Not the hard shadows, that stuff's fine, but that the object doesn't cast shadows on other objects, making the shadows look really awkward and the creases visible in between segments. I'll let you know how my form rummaging goes. Okay, okay, serious stuff now. I said in the last devlog that personal obligations were part of why I wasn't able to get as much done as I would like to. Let me elaborate. One of my gigs had to pivot their goals due to forces outside of their control, and I was put into a position where I don't have a lot of options, leaving me to go on the job hunt. But at the same time, I want to keep my autonomy that I've enjoyed since I started freelancing, and unfortunately that means I have to start spreading out. Unfortunately with it being January at the time of this recording, it's the worst time to find another job because everyone's recovering from the holidays and dealing with taxes and all that boring adult nonsense. So what I'm going to try to do is make some tutorials. Not on YouTube. It's too saturated and trying to make money on YouTube isn't getting any easier. I'm going to try my luck on Skillshare and possibly Udemy and focusing on the niche and more intermediate content like editor scripting, shaders, and, and possibly building prototypes of genres you don't see tutorials for. Basically occupations that bridge the gap between programmer to designer and artist and vice versa. And if that doesn't work out or is slow going, I got another potential plan, which is becoming a unity tutor. This week I recently became Unity certified again and I gotta jump through a few more hoops before I can start tutoring but the point is I got another plan going. The devlogs are still gonna be made but they're gonna be on a bi-weekly schedule. That way they'll be more substantial and I'll have more varied topics to talk about. I'm kind of terrified, honestly. I'm going into uncharted territory with no guarantee of any returns. But at the same time, no one said I had to put a gun to my head and said I had to be self-employed. And forgive me for cutting back on the usual schedule, and I want to thank everybody for sticking with me for months and months on the weekly grind. That'll be it for this week. Subscribe or join a Discord server if you like what I'm doing. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Take care of yourselves and have a good week.